Wanna say hi to the camera? Nope. Hello everyone and welcome to Scrap to Peace. My name is Lydia, also known as Illustrata, and today the Today's project, we are going to be redoing this dollhouse bookshelf. So I used to have one of these when I was a kid. I did not use it as a bookshelf. I used it as an actual dollhouse. This is not the same one. One that I had as a kid had, I think it had a wall all the way down and it didn't have these archways right here. So I found this scouring on Facebook Marketplace. I had been trying to find one for quite a while because I love the one the child and nostalgia, but also to the kind of whimsy possibilities with this shelf. I plan to kind of make it match some of the themes of the different furniture that I have with teal being part of the theme. It has a little bit of wear and tear and the lady told me that there was some scuffs on it and some chips in the wood detailing, but that's totally fine. Nothing that paint can't cover. So the purpose of repainting it and also one of the purposes of me actually having it is so I can use it to hold my movies. So I have a large extensive collection of both DVDs and VHSs. <laughs> having teal interior walls and then have a dark teal for the interior side walls. Go with the purple roof. Well, at least make it a dark purple roof with some pink dry brushing. Probably have a pink dry brush theme throughout. And then green on the exterior walls. It might change. It might not look as good as I think it's going to look, but let's get started. some ceiling portions like on the underside of here you take a look there's this covering it so this is going to be the same color as the exterior walls which is going to be green and then this top portion is going to be purple but I think I'm going to paint the ceilings I have a midnight blue and possibly even the floors dark teal no the midnight blue but I'm kind of torn on that so we'll see point that I talk about in most videos just like it looks ugly it looks terrible but I know I can push through this I know I can get past this so let's keep going so the conclusion I'm coming to is that all of the colors that I'm putting down even though they're the colors that I'm planning to go with for each of the walls in here. It's in a way the base coat. So whenever I'm done with the base coat, I can go in, modify, clean it up, 
add details as much as needed. So it's the start of a project. And so that's what this channel is about, is learning how to push past new challenges and just keep going with projects. And so again, let's keep going. still kind of watery. Now it's just looking very uh, toddler-esque and not my aesthetic. Feeling the green? Not really. So it is too light purple, so I'm going to mix this kind of purple in with it. It is a very potent purple color. So here goes nothing. So it looks a little bit more like it's almost making it like a dual tone instead of just the plain purple. So I do like the, how that looks. I just have to be careful because the purple, base purple is not fully dry. So now it's getting starting like pulling off. I'm still deciding on a color for this trim, that, so I'm going to decide on a color and then I have these little vines, so I'm going to glue them along the edge to add a little bit of trim. whole day just painting this. I was kind of tired of what it looked like, the paint and the color and just not feeling good about it. Then basically just took a step back and went to bed. Then came in the next day to kind of freshen my mind about it. And honestly, I really like how the colors turned out. I know for a fact it's gonna look really good in my living room. So honestly, I don't think I wanna add anything to it. I'm probably just going to finish up by adding adding vines to like the edges, maybe some hanging down vines. I decided against the lights because it turns out Michaels doesn't sell those lights anymore. So, which is disappointing. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna put some vines around the borders and then call it a project.
these top here, some VHSs on these shelves, and probably fill the remainder. <laughs> Collector's Edition Dark Crystal that also has different details. Oh yeah, I forgot it came with a notebook. And even a even a film piece from the original. If you have never watched this Death Trap from Nature, it's on YouTube. I used to watch this all the time as a kid. Highly, highly recommend it. 1984. The 80s music in this is just wonderful. Star Wars original VHSs. Another one I'd recommend, I got this off of Amazon because I used to have this movie as a kid and then my parents got rid of it. It's the making of a saga for Star Wars from Star Wars to Jedi. Uh, it's narrated by Mark Hamill and it goes through all of the different making of the movies. It has pictures from the creature shop where they made all of the prosthetics in it. Again, also on YouTube. Highly recommend watching it. Also, I now have a v my own VHS player so I can play all of my favorite VHS movies and I do have an extensive collection in, on the other side of the room. So. Okay, on to the DVDs. Also, I know people are going to be saying, well, why get a DVDs when you can just get it on a streaming service? Well, I don't know if you've been aware that streaming services are kind of going downhill because of their absurd fees. So why not go to your local thrift store and find one for two, three dollars, unless you go to Savers, because then it's a little bit higher than that. Go to your local Desert Industries because all the movies are about two, three dollars each and still in good quality. Another highlight, I found season one and season two of Invader Zim at the yard sale for a few dollars. Funny thing about Treasure Planet, which is my favorite movie, I had the VHS of it when I was a kid. I thought I had my copy. My mom was saying, oh, I'm just getting rid of a bunch of VHSs. Like, do you want to look through these? I saw that Treasure Planet was in there. I was like, no, I have my own copy. I was wrong. That was my copy. So my parents got rid of it and I didn't know because I thought I had my copy already. So I've been, had been scrounging for almost a year trying to find it at a thrift store and couldn't find it anywhere until finally one day at Desert found it for two bucks. And it's now one of my prized possessions in my VHS collection. But I didn't have it on DVD because not every place you go to is going to have a VHS player like I do. So I got it on DVD on, off Amazon because it was super cheap. And then later on, I'm like, oh, I don't have Treasure Planet. I should order it. I should order it. I should get it. And I did. But I already had it. So now that has happened to me a few times because I'll find them at thrift, uh, different movies at a thrift store and be like, oh, I don't have this movie yet. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So, anyway, um, actually, since this is a series, I'm going to put that one in these. Okay. <laughs> Here's the other copy. Pushing Daisies, also highly recommend. Very underrated show, got canceled and after a few seasons. First and second season. Awesome. So I had purchased Howl's Moving Castle. I don't remember where I got it. But, so again, another Deseret story. My roommate and I had gone to Deseret and we were looking through and we had kind of scanned through like the DVD section and we hear someone comment and it's like, said, hey, I found Nausicaa. So I like signaled to my roommate like, hey, let's go over into the movie section. I can see him holding three Studio Ghibli movies. One of them being Nausicaa, another one being Totoro. And so I was like, oh my gosh, we need to look through these. Like, what the heck? <laughs> like, there's no way. And so like we're browsing through, we can't really find anything. And then all of a sudden, 
I find all three, Nausicaa, My Neighbor Totoro, and Princess Mononoke, tucked together on a shelf because the pit, that person who had found them put them back on the shelf. One of the greatest thrifting moments of my thrifting experience. So now I have a total of four of them. So, let me just put those in there. I think what I might do is organize maybe the top shelf with maybe Disney and animated, and then the bottom shelf is everything else, possibly. Um, we'll see where we go with that. So. I also apologize, whoever gets offended that I'm not sorting by Blu-ray and regular DVD. I'm sorry. If anybody has seen this movie, please comment down in the comment section and tell me what you thought, think about this because it's one of the most underrated Disney movies, and but it's such a staple of my childhood. <laughs> I got Hellboy 2 at a, uh, a flea market today. Every single time I go to a thrift store and I see a Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm like, always tempted, I need to grab it. I need to grab it because I don't have it. Yes, I do. I have all three. <laughs> also, if anybody has seen this, I was an a VeggieTales kid. I was a 3-2-1 Penguins kid. Extremely underrated. The music, the acting, the story's a bit cheesy. Like the first half of the movie is like, eh, but the second half, chef's kiss. I think I'm gonna put my Star Wars movies with the rest of the Star Wars VHSs that I have, just to clear up a little bit of shelf space. Okay, so the animated movie section is not that big yet. Do any of you guys have odd movie organization techniques? I don't know if I showed these in the first few clips when I was clearing off my shelves. I found all three of these at a thrift store in Ontario. It was such a wonderful moment because I just love all three of these. And one thing I'd like to know, maybe if you want to drop it in the comments, what your favorite movie that you own physically, like physical copy versus either streaming or online. All right. I think that's a wrap on this project. So now, to the reveal. That's a wrap on this project. Technically one of the last projects that I worked on in 2023 and now to have it finally completed is wonderful. It's been sitting in my art room for lord knows how long and having it done, having it painted and pretty in my living room is very very cozy. Very happy with the color palette. It was a lot of trial and error. Um, Maybe eventually I'll still put lights in, maybe just like this slot. If I end up getting more movies, I can probably work on a tier. There's still enough room to fit another row of movies and probably put these up on razors behind it to still show like what's behind it. And now I can probably take some of the figurines that I've worked on or decorations and just stick them all on the shelves. So that was a fun project to work on and very happy to have it done and now on to the next one. I hope you all have an artsy lovely day. I hope this new year is treating you well and I will see you in the next video. Bye!